Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we'll be talking about drivers and control systems. Cameron here, I'm the training manager at Diode LED and let's get into this. What are we gonna learn today? We're gonna get into a little bit of voltage basics, what are drivers, how to select the correct driver, and then also when to use dimmable versus non-dimmable drivers. So things to keep in mind. Remember, planning helps your decisions. Low voltage is much safer than high voltage to dim or not to dim, and that all drivers aren't made the same and usually are the first failure on a project. What is voltage? Voltage is the pressure from an electrical circuit power source that pushes charged electrons or current through a conducting loop, enabling them to do work such as illuminating a light. Line voltage is 110 volts or higher. Low voltage tape light though ranges between 12 volts or 24 volts. The most common benefits of line voltage tape light systems are high lumen output and longer run lengths, but due to the higher voltage, the risk of serious shock or fire is increased tenfold. This is why the majority of tape light systems sold on the market today are low voltage. The main benefits are safety, cost savings, and smaller form factors. Now, let's talk about the backbone of your tape light system, the driver. What are drivers anyway? Simply put, drivers convert high voltage alternating current into low voltage direct current. Two of the most common classifications of drivers you will run into are magnetic or electronic. Magnetic drivers have been around forever and are true and tried, but they are usually larger than electronic drivers and have a minimum load of 20% and a maximum load of 80%. Electronic drivers are usually smaller though, so you can use them in installations where size constraints are a factor such as cove lighting, under cabinet, in wall, etc. Electronic drivers also don't usually have a minimum or maximum load and can sometimes be dimmed down to 1% or lower. Electronic drivers are historically not as reliable as magnetic, but this is even changing nowadays due to the progression in electrical circuitry and technology in general. Now, how do you go about selecting the correct driver for your project? You ask questions. Planning out your project is so important. Where are you going to be installing the tape light? Indoor or outdoor? 12 volt or 24 volt? What is the wattage per foot on the tape light? How long is the run and how far away is it from a safe and secure location to housing your driver? Will you be dimming the system? Are you using a color changing system? all questions you need to ask in preparation for a project. For example, most color changing tape light systems require a non-dimming driver, and then you control the light output using the specific color changing proprietary controller or app. Another quick example is if you are installing a driver outdoors, you need to house the driver in some type of NEMA 3R junction box to protect it against the harsh environments and to stay up the code. Planning ahead will help you decide on what type of driver needed. Always consider output voltage first, then input voltage, max wattage requirements, and then IP ratings. The main point to remember is make sure you choose a high quality driver since it is almost always the first failure point on a tape light system. Help reduce complexity with a quality universal input voltage and multiple dimming protocols in a single driver, a driver that will work for almost every type of tape light system. And to dim or not to dim, that is the question. With dimmable LED lighting installed, the illumination can lower with a dimmable driver and a compatible wall control. The wall dimmer changes phase forms in the circuit to raise or lower the brightness. With non-dimmable, sometimes called an on-off circuit, you will only have illumination at 100% or off. So again, what are the questions you need to answer? Does your client want to control the brightness or lumen output of their tape light system? The answer will determine if you use a dimming protocol or just an on-off switch. But like my example earlier, does your client want a color changing tape light system? If yes, then you need a non-dimmable driver. Just another reason to plan and prepare accordingly ahead of time. So let's recap. Voltage basics and the difference between high and low voltage drivers are the backbone of your tape light system. Make sure you choose the correct one by asking lots of questions up front. The first failure point in your tape light installation will probably be due to a cheap driver, so pick a quality one to avoid this. 
I cannot stress you enough how important it is to have quality controls and drivers. Make sure you ask those questions ahead of time. Until next time, it's Cameron. I'm the training manager over here at Diode LED. Thank you.